Hello and welcome to episode number four of Alternative Streams of Income with Stablecoins. We've been staking around $1,000 in seven different platforms to find out which one is performing best. And so far in the last episode, we have used a capital of total $6,978 and we've made a profit of about $7,040.68. And Within 29 days, that's a total of $62.68 and an APY of 11.91%. So we're going to find out what we have staked so far after 58 days. So let's check our balances. It's been a total of about 58 days of staking these coins. And then uh, we're just going to check every single one. So with Synapse, we're at 1000 around $1,017 now. Uh, you can see we've received some rewards of 34.71 SYN, which is about $16.71. $16 Aerodrome, we're at 1000 around $1,014, around $36 of Aero, which is quite strong. Pendle, we've got $10.41 of Pendle that we've received here. Hop protocol, we've got $13.20 worth of hop. Curve, we've got a total of around just under $5, so $4.97 in total there. Compound, because there's no rewards, we're just compounding USDC. We've just got $1,007.94. Beefy, similar with compound, it's not doing too well in this uh, particular run, so we've just got $1,000.67. So I'm gonna take this all to go and calculate. So let's check our USD balances only. As you can see, Compound still at number one with USDC E on Arbitrum, and we've made a profit of around $7.94. That gives an APY of around 5.10%. And I'd say if you just looking at this and just want to do stablecoin only it's probably not worth it because 5.10 percent i'm not too sure about the us traditional markets but uh, in the uk we're getting around 4.75 percent for any sort of savings account and i think for fixed term we're probably getting around five percent as well so really it's not too worth it if you're just looking for usd values i'd certainly recommend looking at it from the perspective of claiming rewards and additional stakes from other platforms in cryptocurrency because you're going to make a bigger return as you'll see in a, a bit later when i'll show you the calculations with the rewards a bit later now pendle in number two position so that hasn't changed um that has an apy of around 3.84 percent that's given us a total profit of around six dollars so far beefy at number three position that's gone up one position so we're at 1.06 percent not too great for this one we really haven't made any sort of money and also beefy doesn't give you any rewards as well so quite you know, i wouldn't recommend going with beefy hop to aerodrome are just terrible for usc values um you'd only stake these if you're looking to make rewards and i'll show you um in the next section how much we've actually made in terms of rewards because it's quite the the difference is quite big as well so um stick around uh so in total we've got a pro profit of around 18 dollars and 94 that's given us a total of around 1.72 percent and we're gonna go over to show you the rewards that we received with these platforms as well so let's look at our profits, including the rewards. And as you can see, Aerodrome, it was in the bottom tier on the USC values only, but number one in terms of the rewards that have been given to us. And you can see the reward of around $36.01 over 58 days. That gives us a daily average profit of around $0.62, cents, an APY of 25.62% hasn't changed it's still in number one position synapse also has climbed up the ladder from previously in position number four now in position number two 
we've made a profit of around $16.71 and that gives us around 30 cents a day. Pendle is doing quite well as well, at, still in the same position, number three. We've made a profit around $10 and well, the reward is around $10.41 and the profit is around $16.41. That gives an APY of around 10.8%. And then hop. Um, that's got down. So previously it was number two. Now it's in number four position. But um, as you can see, the difference is quite the contrast in comparison. If you're just doing it with USD values only, I would only recommend doing it for the rewards. And what we're going to do, we're going to actually, um, with the rewards, we're going to actually compound it. So what we're going to do, we're going to sell it for the USD values recompound everything and i'll do that in the next steps so here's the results for this week we've made a profit of around 93 dollars and 26 in around 58 days roi 1.34 percent apy 8.71 percent and it's around a daily profit of one dollar and 62 cents so what we're going to do now we're going to recompound our pendle rewards and place it in a new pool because this pool has actually expired actually I did realize it expired yesterday so we're gonna look to claim our rewards and then swap it and then recompound it into a new pool so that's what we're gonna do so I've just swapped out my USDE with my rewards and then I've compounded everything and then I had to swap it into this new GUSDC so I could uh, start staking this in this particular pool and the process was about 20 minutes actually so I've, I've taken that all out edited this video and you can see me just uh, approving this GUSDC so I can start staking this new into this new pool and um, transaction went pretty smoothly all the fees were pretty low especially being on Arbitrum one thing to note is that um, the Pendle rewards that you receive you cannot swap it on Pendle uh, the platform itself so you will have to take it to a different DeFi exchange like Uniswap which is where I swapped out my pendle for um, so the process was a bit longer than I thought but um, pretty smooth in the end so the same thing again we're gonna use the hop exchange and then we're gonna claim all our hop which is six six hundred and fifteen around six hundred and fifteen hop and then we're gonna swap that out swap it into USDT and then recompound it into HOP and uh, into this liquidity pool and then we can just compound our earnings a bit more so the process was again very similar with Pendle is that you cannot swap HOP on its own exchange you have to take it out into a different DeFi platform such as Uniswap or Curve or whatever DeFi platform you normally use to swap out coins so a bit clunky to experience but um, again it went pretty smooth and after the swap we got around $12.56 for the amount of hop we received in terms of rewards and uh, here you can see me adding recompounding that USDT into the liquidity pool that we're already in So with Synapse, it's the same process. We have around uh, 34 SYN to claim. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap this into the NUSD so I can recompound it into the pool. And again, the process very similar to before, but at least with SYN, you can swap it on this particular exchange. So uh, it's streamlined very slightly. And with the amount of SYN we received, which is around 30, just under 35, we received around $16 for it. So we swapped and then we recompounded into the same pool. And the process was a bit simpler, a bit more streamlined compared to the previous two processes. But um, on to the next. So we're on Aerodrome and it's exactly the same process. We're just going to claim our... Aero, which is around 58 Aero, and then we're going to swap that out for what we're going to swap it out for ZUSDC, I believe. And then we're going to, um, after that, we're going to swap that out and then recompound everything. So, one thing to note about Aerodrome is that when you're doing these pools, they don't automatically, you can't put just one amount 
of USC, you have to have two equal parts to it. So in this case, uh, you do need to have USDZ and then USDC, so two equal parts in order to actually compound this, um, which is quite com cumbersome because you have to do two swaps at a time to get two equal amounts. But um, other than that, fees are low it's pretty quick as well and in, in on base but um the rewards are pretty good so kind of worth it in the end so as you can see you can see me just depositing and then recompounding everything on aerodrome and finally similar thing for curve as well so we kind of claim our awards as arbitrum as well so we here we've got us around 9.6 ARB and we're going to convert that into USDT so we can recompound that into the same pool that we're already staking in. So here we are going to claim our awards and then uh, we're going to just go ahead and swap this into USDT and then so we can uh, recompound everything into there. So with 9.6 around 9.5 i think we're gonna get around uh about five dollars just on a just under five dollars so four four dollars and eighty and then we're gonna recompound that four dollars eighty into the same pool so we just claimed all our rewards and swapped all our rewards for the corresponding sort of stable coin that we're pulling in and we've also recompounded that amount into the respective pool or stablecoin platform that we're currently using so aerodrome at number one so we compounded everything back in we've made a profit of around 30 dollars and 39 cents that gives us an apy of around 21.21 percent which is very high synapse and number two at a respective 11.09 percent pendle at number three at 10.0 Three five percent and hop at number four with ten point eighteen percent. So if you're going to do this and you don't mind having to go through the manual process of having to recompound everything, claim your rewards, swap everything out, and then recompound everything, I would suggest just going for these four. Uh, pretty strong. They've been pretty strong over time, but it is a manual process, and you do need to do it. Maybe. I'd say once or twice a month um, or maybe once every two months is also fine as well. Um, but if you want something that you just want to leave for many, many months and just not worry about it, then I'd say compound is probably the, the other best option. Uh, you won't need to do any of this manual work. Um, but if you're willing to put it in maybe 30 to 40 minutes, then these four I recommend. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.